Yes, indeed. In the meantime, life we're in it. So we just want to cheer up to all the family members. We have more strength.
Little that I know that when I'm around him, we feel so connected. A little story. I don't cook much. I'm not a cook. But God has taught me to cook. He always liked whenever he's doing party when I'm there. He always called me. He said, Devin, you're the only one I can trust to be on the grill. I will be on the grill all day. Just because of what God has taught me. I watched him and I saw him cook a big pot of rice. I said, man, you know, just the amount of water to put in there. He doesn't cook with salt, but when he finished cooking, it tastes like there is salt in it. He just knows exactly the correct proportion to put in it. Dr. and I get along well, because I learned never to argue with him about Chelsea football team. So whatever he said, I just agree with him. I go along with it. He's always helping folks. I never heard him argue with anyone. Never heard him swear at anyone. He's always willing to help. As a matter of fact, we have a celebration at my church up north. And Dalton came and he prepared all the meal for us. I told you, those folks there, they love fast food. But I've never seen them eat jerk chicken and festival like that. They, they keep on asking me, when is he coming back? When is he coming back? That guy who cooked the food, when is he coming back? They were all saddened right now when I told them about his passing. But I say this to say that, as family, as friends, as neighbors. We need to take the time to appreciate our loved ones. Appreciate the good in them. Yes, we all have our faults. But what about put the, the, the faults aside and celebrate the good? Let the good be seen. Let the best be seen. What I see in Dalton was the best of what I expect a man to be, a husband, a father. And what I saw, he did it well. That is just a transition from this world into the new world. That is also a part of life, whether you like it or not. It's coming. See, the sad thing about this, the reason why we cry, the reason why we mourn, is because none of us have any idea when death is coming knocking at your door. And because of that, we, don't, we never prepare. We never make preparation for that. We make preparation for everything else in our lives. We never make preparation for death. Because you know when you're going to graduate, you know when the baby is due, you know when the birthday celebration, you know the anniversary. You never know the time and date of death. Only God gives life. Only God can give life. And only God has the right to take it away. Nobody on this earth has any right to take away life. Only God, because you and I can't give life. We have to accept it. But I say this to say that, for those of us who remember the life that Dr. lived, let that be an example to us. Let carry the good things, the good memories. And for those of us who will weep, for those of us who will mourn, there is absolutely no time limit on that. So don't let anyone tell you it's time to get over it. It's a personal experience. And no one should tell you, mourn for a week and move on. 
more per year and move on. No, it's individual. I say to those who mourn, mourn all you want. Those who cry, cry all the tears you want. See, all that you're going to be doing down here because once you get up there, there's no more tears. No more pain, no more hurting. See, God said is now currently with his maker. He's in the hands of God. You and I are here looking at the life that you live. Make it be an example. And please, don't love me when I'm dead. Love me while I'm alive. Don't give me flowers when I'm dead. Give me flowers when I'm alive. Don't say good, not good and nice things about me when I'm dead. I can't hear it when I'm dead. Say to me while I'm alive. Let the goodness of God be seen in your life. Let the legacy that he left, that he set forth, continue. He left a wife that's going to need to be comforted. A phone call, a text, whatever. He left children that's going to need to be comforted. That's going to need to be looked after. That's going to need some encouragement. A phone call, a text, something to comfort them. I pray that we will look at each individual death and see that as a stepping stone for us who are alive, that one day this death will come upon us. But until then, live life like it's going out of style. Live your best life like it's going out of style. You only have one chance on this side. I pray that you will, in Jesus' name. Amen.
those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. My father passed the Holy Spirit in my hands, lifted my spirit of my angry business on behalf of Dana Sir, the Christian. My father passed the Christ clearly in my hands, lifted my spirit when everything else came heavy. That you taught me the true meaning of unconditional love. Our years living together are my most memorable moments. As I can recall you, cook me some of the most delicious meals, especially brown stew chicken, 
with my child, bathing me, towing me on your bicycle, and bringing me on your little errand. You took very good care of me as a father. No matter what, I was never wrong in my father's eyes. I will forever love and cherish our memories together. I love you, I miss you. May your soul rest in perfect peace, Daddy. Members of the dear Diego, on behalf of all my brothers and sisters, I'm here today to just say these words how much we cherish our dear Diego. It was like just yesterday, two years ago, you came to my mother's funeral, which your grandmother. I have never cried at a funeral. Lost my mother, lost my sister, lost my brothers, my husband, my uncles, my aunts, and I've never ever cried. But daughter, you may be cry today. Because it was just like yesterday I poured in my hands, coming from the hospital. It was like yesterday, two years ago, you came to the funeral, looking so strong. Who did I know that two years after I was here, looking at you today, say it breaks my heart for the first time I'm crying at the funeral. But doctor, you can't hear me today. But I just want to wish all his children, his wife, and his brothers, once and all of them, that keep the faith, one day we will to him. Cherish memories of great father, otherwise called Dalton. Dalton, you fill our hearts with love and warmth. Your smile, your laughter, and your real down to earth. You were a real down to earth person. We will forever treasure. Though you may be gone from our sight, you will forever remain in our hearts. As we hold on to these memories, we lift our prayers to God, asking for comfort and strength during this time of loss. May His peace surround us and may we find solace in knowing that Dalton is now in God's embrace. Jamaica, Boston, Massachusetts. We have lost one of the greatest chefs that I have ever met. I have traveled by the path, but I can tell you that never of mine, when he cooks for you, cooks with grace and love. Everything he cooks is lovely, great, not much powder seasoning, real seasoning, but it was very tasty. Specialized in seafood, one of the greatest. And if you ask him to do French fried chicken, which he didn't eat, what you do it? Wow. Kentucky needed to have seen him before he left to get a real recipe of fried chicken. My nephew, 
you have taken your rest. And today you are going home to meet two other greater hosts, your grandma yes. and your mom, yes. who were the greatest cook on this earth that I know of. And you have gone to meet them at a very young age. Today, as children of God, we can't question God. We can't say gone too soon because God knows everything best. I cried because I felt it to my heart for the first time I've ever cried at a funeral. But you know what? God is an untimed God. And God knows everything why he took my dead so young. Lord, let your will be done. I thank you for his life. May his soul rest in peace. In that spectrum, Shantan. Nation, 
baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And while you do that, you continue to say, teaching them to observe all things. But while there were some places, the Bible said when they heard this, they said that to Peter and to the rest of the apostles. That means they were hearing something else. When they heard this, they said that to Peter, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said unto them, Repent. Be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're from, I'm saying to somebody, Brother Cunningham, we all need Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the only Savior. Hear this. God has made an appointment with man. And the appointment that God has made with man becomes an enemy to man. What is the appointment? It's an appointment unto man. Want to die after dedicated judgment. The last enemy shall be destroyed is death. Death is rampant through this world. But I'm saying, according to Matthew 1 21, she shall bring forth a son. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. As for 12, it said, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Malachi 4 it said, Behold, they come that shall burn as an over. Let us bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne this afternoon. We come lifting up the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Father, I thank you for what you have done here today. For the smile that you have put on the faces of your people that you have created. And oh God, even though we have been through what some people may call it hell, but some people may call it tough time. We know, Father, because of the hope that we have in Christ Jesus, we can walk with our heads high and we can smile through this storm. Lord, I pray for the bereaved this afternoon. Those that are going through difficult times, oh God, those who will have to continue this journey without doubt, the presence of doubt in their life. Oh God, I pray for comfort this morning. Lord, your word says that we may endure but for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Lord, I pray for the peace that surpasses all human understanding. May it rest upon their souls. The peace and the comfort that the word can give, that only can come through knowing Christ Jesus. And Father, I pray right now that you will be the head of protection over them, oh God. The Lord, as they leave this place and go back to their several destinations, that your Holy Spirit will go with them, will fill them, and will saturate their entire being. Father, I pray, oh God, that Lord, they, those who do not know you, that they will put their, give their lives to you and put their trust in you. Lord, I pray for those who are standing to support to your pastor, of your pastor, your servant, whom you have called. Father, I pray tonight, oh God. The Lord, whatever is said and done here tonight will bring honor and glory to your name.